And if ever there was a case to be made for exactly why this is relevant to human disease and that you just made it in, you know, in spades. Sure. But you like, there's another animal model that you, that you have a passion for that, that might take a little bit more explaining than the mouse, and that's the songbird, right? Canaries. Uh, canaries. So you're working in canaries. Yeah. Tell us about your passion for canaries and where that came from. And, and again, yeah. you know, tell, tell the folks out there why, why that's actually really, really important and, and that they should care about it. That's turned out to be, in some ways, the most, uh, most direct story, if you will. Uh, ironically, in, in terms of potential clinical translation. Yeah. So um, I, I started working on uh, the neurology of bird song as, uh, as a graduate student. That, that was my PhD thesis at Rockefeller you know, 40 years ago. Yeah. And um, uh, I was just interested in neurology of bird song. Period. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was an interesting thing. Just to for pick the curiosity up. of it, yeah. like ba basic yeah. science. Yeah. No, no. Very, very basic. No, no. no. I mean, at that point, you know, I was in the MD PhD program at Rockefeller and Cornell, and I just assumed I was going to take this couple-year little way station and do a kind of interesting PhD, and then go back to, you know, to, to being a straight clinician. What I found uh, as a graduate student, this was a fellow named with a fellow named uh, Fernando Notabaum at Rockefeller, was that uh, well, it was known that uh, male birds sing and females don't among the true songbirds. Mm -hmm. And that um, one category, the Ossine songbirds, learn a new song every year, and then they forget at the end of the year. <laughs> and uh, uh, the part of the brain that they sing with is larger in males than females. And then uh, I, I was interested in what's the cellular basis for that, and found that uh, new cells were being generated uh, in the bird brain, in, resp in the female bird, because it was known that uh, testosterone given to females would make them sing, and the part of the brain would increase in size. Right? Interesting, yeah. And we found that new cells were generated, and I, I did that experiment up front thinking the new glial cells or new endothelial cells, new, new blood vessel cells, mm -hmm. might, might be made to uh, sub subserve this increase in size. But what we found that was really surprising was that new neurons were being generated yeah. too. Yeah.